We will we'll do silent. Um, I'm just like an ironclad, but we'll do silent as well. Sorry. Eat food. How dare I? Okay, this is the run through, which is supposed to be uh, 9 HP, 4 block. I mean, it's still just a good amount of damage. 9 damage, 4 block. It, it could have, like, like against loses. Like, this, this is just a good card. For the most part. I'll, I'll try it out. We'll give it a, a whirl. Like, for instance, we could do this and then smack. I could have killed that guy in the back as well, you know. Little things here and there, little things. Cool. Power through burning packs, twin strike. I like twin strike. So you need base mod and mod Spire as a minimum. Yep. And then from there, you make in the mod folder you can add replay the Spire, and you'll see it replay the Spire under um, relics nine twenty-three. So this is the berserk again. Do we, do we give it a second chance? I'm gonna give it another chance. Although again, I'm not upgrade remove. upgrade it's a pretty decent upgrade i think bash is pretty decent as well they're all decent i like this i want to give this a whirl i might as mm. Yeah, five vulnerable is hard to deal with. The Amarshim was a, a good thing to have. Mm, this is probably just better to do. But Artifact is, is probably the best thing to get. Like, Artifact would be the best. And that's unfortunate. That's going to be... 11 damage versus taking 6 damage. I mean, there's an argument to be made to be killing the weak guys, because the weak guys are preventing me from killing these guys efficiently. dying to these guys. We're not dying to these guys. We're fine. So this is what I wanted to look at and try with uh, Electric Blood. So deal 5 damage, gain 5 block, heal 5 HP. Every time you lose HP, while this is in your hands, you upgrade this so it's pretty garbage right now for for two mana but if i get electric blood and if i get some other stuff to synergize this could be crazy now this is probably going to be something that helps that hurts me like I, i'm not going to win the run any quicker with this but we, we're doing it just to try it out now i could upgrade it and it keeps upgrading right so by upgrading this is still doing like eight eight which is like not that great, but it gives you an 8 heal. Like, this can easily become better with um, a bloodletting, a brutality, chemokinesis, you know, electric blood. So that's not a bad upgrade. I guess I'll do it. Give it a head start. Now, we do want to do elites. I still think we're pretty scared of the Gremlin Nub. Like, pretty scared of the Gremlin Nub. We're scared of Laga too, but we have run through for Laga. It's not as rough. I mean, run through's not that great. It's just good for that first turn of Laga. We're still pretty scared of Laga as well. I'm gonna skip.
That's gonna be a rough fight. When it, when it has one of these guys, plus that. Not bad. Cover the block. 2A damage. Yo, eight life. I like it. So this doesn't actually make him scale up. Which is a nice little trick. This does, though. No, it doesn't work with armaments because it only works when you take... Damage. While it's in your hands. Clothesline. I like clothesline. I don't mind clash. Now that's essentially one clash is a little bit better. I'm taking clash. Although clothesline is pretty good because there's an elite coming up. Oh well. Clash it is. Quantum Egg. Whenever a card is created during con uh, combat, it is upgraded. Wow, that's so cool with Mill Rise and Dead Branch. I'm assuming that's what it's made for. I remember I've always asked it. I've always asked for something like this. Like, I, I was always asking, man, I wish the eggs would affect such and such. That's cool. Codex. Yeah, no, it's Codex. Now, I don't know. Like, it's very, that's very situational. I suppose that works with Infernal Blade, so let's say I do Infernal Blade, but Infernal Blade is not... Yeah, Infernal Blade, that would upgrade it. It would also upgrade, um... The new color cards we got, it was called Chrysalis and Metamorphosis. This is pretty good for those as well. Yeah, some value. Anger. True. Shivs. Hello World. Imagine Hello World with that. The Hello World would become kind of crazy. I'm trying to stay within the Ironclad, but if we go outside of the Ironclad, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Endless Agony. Right? Shivs. Just an Infinite Blades. Infinite Blades, Cloak and Dagger. I mean, this could be crazy on the Silent. In fact, we're going to play the Silent right after this. After seeing this, we have to play the Silent. Storm of Steel, but Storm of Steel already does that. Does it apply to burns? When it's created during combat, it is upgraded. Does it apply to burns? We're gonna find out. I think Chrysalis and Metamorphosis would be pretty nice though. Tori. Destroy an enemy after 10 turns. So does that work on bosses? Do I just do this on a boss and it's done 10 turns? Let's test it out for science. Disarm is very good, so is spot weakness. I, li <clears throat> I like disarm. But spot weakness is pretty good because we have twin strike. And other stuff. But disarm is fantastic for act 2. And it works really well with Tori. We're gonna doom him. I'll, I'll, I'll tank it all. I mean, it is a long term. I guess we could do it on the champ. Try on the champ. King of Hearts. Life, I want to see this. Blood enemy. When you lose health, the bound enemy takes that much damage. Are you telling me that I can attention? Wow. Are you telling me I could basically take a boss out with me? Look, you kill me, you're killing yourself too. Alright? Hey, we'll both die. No, I mean, what, what can you use this for? When you lose health, the bound enemy takes that much damage. So since I heal up. I guess it's trying to make me make... Or, or I guess in a fight that I'm going to lose health anyways, this is just good value. Like, this is a power, so it doesn't cycle. You just play it. And if you're going to lose health anyways, like, even if you're trying to fully block, you're just getting extra damage. Now, if you're trying to do it in a way where you lose life intentionally, it would work with things like Hemogenesis. 
Genesis, Hemo Genesis, my bad. Hmm. It's all electric blood stuff, I know. So headbutt? Nah. Are there new characters? There are new characters. There's new mana characters, yes. Park Relic, when, whenever you lose HP during their turn, gain twice as much block. So we saw that this is pretty good with some other stuff, but I kind of want to try Life Binds. Give it a whirl. Just remove a strike. Yeah, Re Replay the Spire has been notoriously named like a really good um, mod. The Berserk was actually really useful there because that, that was really nice. Pommel, Sword Boomerang. I kind of like Pommel a little bit. It works with Berserk. Even though I'm not playing Berserk. What is the upgrade of this? It just comes free? I think the shard is a very good upgrade. It's not good against the slime boss, but it's a very good upgrade. We'll do it. I probably want to save this weekend potion for the um Actually if I did I could have got Tori there. It's okay. Life finds. I wonder if I'm gonna get life finds here. We'll see. Probably not. Life find is kind of good with like multi targets, I would say. And you can also do within measure. Like if you're gonna heal up to full anyways because of burning blood, then life finds can help you kill it quicker, right? Whoa. Life find works well with brutality, and we also saw that brutality is pretty good with King of Hearts and some other stuff. I'm not sure. I, I think it's King of Hearts that I was like excited with brutality. Aside from that, never mind. Oh wait, Hemogenesis, Hemogen. Wait, Combust. So both brutality and Hemogenesis work really well together. So we're doing brutality. That's what I was excited about. So we're actually going to do this on the first turn. I want to see how this keeps upgrading. It also works with Light Binds. So we're just going to have that guaranteed damage going through. Okay, let's see what happens here. It upgraded to 11 block, 11 damage, 11 HP. I'm going to keep that in my deck. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do Clash. So it scales up by 3. So the slimes don't get upgraded, of course, but... He's taking one damage every turn. So we're, we're taking damage together. Now... He still says... I can do this, this is fine. He still says 70. Oh! Whoa, wait, wait, he split himself, I just... See, I didn't take that into account, now there's 15 block, 15 exhaust, 15 damage, 15 health, okay, cool, cool. Forgot that he was gonna hurt himself. I didn't think that didn't count. Wow, interesting. Interesting. I guess we do clash and let this keep scaling. Twenty damage. Look, it scales up even more and more. So it starts going from three, four, five, six. So it's, it just keeps going up by one. And plus one or whatever. 20, 20, 20. I mean, that's crazy. With Bash, it's lethal. I kind of want to keep it going. Nah, it's, it's got its value. It's got it, it's done enough. That's really good combo. That card's a little broken, I, I would say. So he splits at 18. Oh. Clash. 
That's cool. All right, so offering works well with uh, Hemogenesis. Uh, Demon form is just cool to have. I like this whole offering life bind Hemogenesis thing going on. I want to I want to do it some more. Ori Choker. Uh, I guess we take Choker for the energy, but we have Berserk. Right? So I guess we'll use Berserk for the energy problem, so we don't get messed up by Choker. And we'll do either do potions, which with Doom Potion in this stuff, like, I'm assuming some of the other potions are pretty good, or Ori, and see what we can get. I like Ori. I like the White Beast statue. Hey, thank you, Trekko. I'm glad you like Harry. Got Massacre. We're killing uh, little teddy bears or whatever. Deal one damage to all enemies. You lose all your strength. But we're using this as a finisher move because it's affected by strength five times. Now when you upgrade this, affected by strength eight times. And does three damage. So if you have, let's say, five strength, you're doing AoE 43 damage. 43 damage AoE. You lose all your strength, but 43 damage AoE is like Grand Finale, but there's no, you know what I mean? So it's mainly used as a finisher. Uh, this is very good in the strength scaling deck. This is very good in the hallway fights if you have spot weakness or any kind of strength. I mean, this is just very good. You know what else is really good with? Flex. You use flex, you're getting um, like 15 damage AoE. And you're going to lose the flex anyways. So not bad. So if you have battle trends, flex, massacre, this is good. There's a lot of different things you can do with this. I like that. I'm going to try it out, even though I have no strength right now. I gotta be careful how many cards I'm adding though, because I don't have that much defense. Let's, let's make sure we have good defense. Hmm. You'll get negative strength, really? Oh, that's interesting. Ah, got it. I'll get that negative defense. We have clashes, yeah, we do have clash. Yeah, let's go all clash, let's go offensive. Screw that. I guess we can do Rampage for a little bit of scaling. Our deck has like no defense though. That's too trivial. There we go. Do I want drop picker any of this? Uh, not really. Nope. Cool. Oh, we can do Doom on this guy. Now, if Doom is a debuff, then he has artifacts I have to get rid of. But if Doom is not a debuff, I just do Doom and we win. The alternative is to do Doom on um, the book Stabbing as well. Or the Gremlin Leader. There's a lot of elites that I can't avoid. I could avoid... I actually can't avoid the elites. Let's avoid the elites. Let's be, let's be uh, safe this time around. We got Clash. Massacre. Rampage. I like Hemogenesis. Hemogenesis. But I want to try to get brutality value. I think this is not something you do in a hallway fight. I think you just do it now. Although, it's better to wait because you can get healing off of it. Life is pretty cool, though. I should play Berserk. Because if I take damage, whatever, she's hurting herself. So she does 3 damage to herself, but I only take 1 because of Tori. That's kind of a nice combo. Yeah, this is all modded. This whole thing's modded. Defy death. Gain 10 block. Cost 1 less for each card you've exhausted this combat. Interesting. So potentially this is a 0, zero cost 14 block.
I'm gonna try this out. Poison strike. Apply three poison affected by damage modifiers. So, if it's vulnerable, they'll take six poison here or five poison here. Is that what it's trying to tell me? Regal pillow. Shrug it off. Bag of marbles. I like shrug it off. I feel like we need something like shrug it off in our life. I think this is kind of cool, though. A zero-cost poison, but it's affected by monitor. So if I have vulnerable, this is six poison for zero. And two strength is also two more poison. And ten strength is like ten more poison. This is insane. I gotta try it out. I just don't have any strength. Let me get these five weakness or something. It goes through that. That's cool. Also affected by weaken too, right? There's a, the inverse effect is that is affected by weaken. Now I need rupture because rupture would give me. Um... So defy death is two, and that allows us to play clash and twin strike. And now we can always heal up by hemogenesis, so the longer this goes on, potentially the more that... So we do bash poison. I just want to try it out. So that's four poison. That's pretty nice. I like that. That's a really good card. Yeah, and if you have strength scaling, that's insane. And this is getting better and better. That's 22 damage. That basically kills him. And heals me back to full, for the most part. Yeah, I can hit back to full. Alright, let's do it. GG. That's a great card. Stupidly good card. Thunderclap strips the artifacts, which I think is going to be pretty good because our goal is to do Doom Pot on the boss. But we have the Poison Strike to get rid of artifacts. We also have um, the Life Bind, which is also a debuff. And we also have just Bash. So I guess we can manage. Thunderclap is a pretty good Poison Strike. And it is AoE. And it works with Massacre if we have Strength Scaling, which we don't. Thunderclap. Huh. So, with my luck, this is going to hit the clash, so I'm, I'm not going to try to risk it. I lied. And it works in Perfected Strike. You got that right. Life Binds. <laughs> Touching, I've had some bad luck though. I love how the Tori works with that. That's so cool. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but I like it. Same thing here, right? Like, he's gonna do f five damage to his face, but I'm only taking one. Like, I'm, I'm cheating the system here. Oh, hey, buddy. I think this this card is, like, almost designed. Like, Lifebind is, had Tori in mind. Or maybe... I don't know. That's a really nice combo. I want to get Hemogenesis here. Beautiful. Full life. Wow. Holy. Hemokinesis. So let's talk about it. Hemokinesis and Hemogenesis are, you know, polar opposites. But they synergize really well. And then this allows me to do life bind shenanigans. So if I do life bind on somebody, this potentially is 20 damage. As opposed to 18. But, no, it doesn't work with Tori, but it works with Hemogenesis, which we have, right? And it works with Light Binds. But I don't really need another attack. It's 
What's up, Spider-Man? How you doing, man? Tori is uh, attack damage, yes, but this is HP. I do want to weaken too. I think this close down could be good for the weaken. But I like Ghost of the Armor as well, just have more block. It's a lot of things. I think we need more block. We're getting a little crazy and not enough not block. But who needs block when you have Hemokinesis making Hemogenesis crazy? Let's do Ghost of the Armor. So we're going to let this scale up. We can do Doom here. I mean, Hemogenesis was really good with Brutality as it is. We're gonna do Berserk. Although, this is gonna, this is gonna bite me in the ass, I can tell you right now. Nah, we're not doing it. I can just see it biting me right in the ass. Wow. It's already looking juicy. Should have bash first. We're gonna have more poison right now. Hemogenesis? Yes. Heal right back up. How will run we're get, the run through is coming I mean it's a common attack so yeah they're like no yeah they're like arm is upgrades exactly so, and but the hemogenesis if it was persistent that would be insane but it, it scales up so it's a uh, n plus one so the longer you hold on to hemogenesis the more you're gonna get out of it pummel it gives us defy defy death value. We have so many different things going on in this deck. So crazy. Defy death, fourteen block for for zero. Like that's hard to pass up. But then upgrading true grade is pretty important. But fourteen block for zero, right? Ugh. I mean, ideally, for one, I, I'm happy with that as well. Let's do that. And it, let's do that. One damage to everybody. Pop champ. There it is. The five depths coming alive. So we do bash, and then poison strike, and then trigger. Do not hit that five depth. No, that is so bad. I should do thirty-five here. That's so bad. No, 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 no. I kind of want to do Berserk. Yes, I do. Mm. Some Genesis is, is pretty good. All right, it's giving me decent block, decent damage. It's keeping me in there, but I I do benefit from holding on to it. So we're gonna hold on to it. Can also just die by holding on to it. There's that as well. I shouldn't have held. I shouldn't have held on to it. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh my God, Hemogenesis, please come save me, my friends. This vulnerable is kicking my ass. We have lethal, but then I... See, we have lethal, but next turn I'm gonna get... Okay, not next turn, but there's a big chance I'm gonna get Hemogenesis. But how much longer can I just hold... So if I if I do this, right, if I defend, defend, I'm taking 12 damage. And Hemogenesis is gonna heal me for... 14. So it's potentially worth it. But I'm also taking 1 damage for Brutality, so... I'm taking two damage for brutality because I'm not gonna get it next turn. I mean, there's a chance. No, but then if I'm, yeah, it's not worth it. Damn, it's not worth it. Feels bad. 
Yeah, I didn't play that correctly. The, the, uh, the main reason why that happens is because Tree wasn't upgraded and hit to 5 death. So that's why you upgrade True Grip. Bring back is fine. All this forgiven. And I am never punished. Tentative. Ooh, that could be juicy. So I like to pummel now so the fight gets better. But I also just don't like taking damage. I mean, can you blame me? Run through. Defy death, dude. Defy death. Hemogenesis. Gen it's pretty good. If I do bash, we're killing the guy, but also healing. Let's do defy death again. I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy. Spicy. Yeah, I can scale Hemogenesis here because I have the disarm. Scale it up a little bit because this guy still does some big hits sometimes and I'm frail. Well, the, the, the health again doesn't get scaled up by uh, strength, it's just by the damage you take. Got pendant though, so I can if I draw it again. Well, we have to get. Let's do bash. Bye, Clash. Love you, Clash. Miss you. Hopefully, we get it here and just end the fight. Nope. Alright, hopefully we get it next turn. Nope. Now? Yep. Alright, that's 26 HP heal. I mean, I can do it even further. This thing keeps scaling. We can go even further beyond. I don't want it to trigger it because if it hits it, I would feel devastated. We gotta get greedy here. 33 HP. It's getting insane. This is about to be a monster. Wait, he's dying along with me because I have life bind. No, we're fine. Forty one HP heal. We should wait till it's full. Why wouldn't we? Because this sucks. But we're gonna heal anyways, right? Wait, don't hurt yourself too much. That was cheeky. A cheeky little heal you just did. You cheeky little dude. Boom. 50 HP. I'm happy with that. Pretty damn good. Let's skip here. Oh, that, that, that does add stuff to the Defy Death. Now we're good. Let's upgrade. 
for this guy, we have Doom Pot. We really want to get Doom Pot. We upgrade True Grit. That's about time. Whoa! So this is the Dolly's Mirror that they added. Bandana. Gain two thievery for the first turn, three turns of combat. So thievery, uh, I think, means every time you hit somebody, you gain gold, which is insane, and I love it. And I wish I had that bandana right now. And I'm sad that I don't. Because I love nothing more than being a thief. You better transfer now. Yeah, I'm not gonna do them right, right away. I'm gonna make sure I get rid of his artifacts. I've already accounted for that. Human Genesis, you're gonna be something else. I believe in you, my friend. But then now we can't use Clash. Who needs Clash? I take Carnage sometimes in the beginning of the game if I need offense. I haven't been taking it recently, but... That was stupid. That was stupid. I'm doing Berserk. YOLO. A poison is considered a skill? Uh, that sucks. A skill that's affected by modifiers. So, look, this is cool, right? Because Tori, I take one, but he takes five. I love it. Oh, this is a little unfortunate. I need strength out here. Hmm. Hemokinesis, the Hemogenesis is going to have to save us a little bit here. Eh. I don't want to draw at the wrong time. Alright, this is perfect. This is perfect, because... Probably gonna draw it now, right? Right? We're not gonna draw it at all? Okay, we're still fine. We're still fine. Still got a chance. I believe it's gonna happen now. Right? You know what's really sad about this, guys? Is that he's gonna die to brutality, and I'm not gonna get the heal. And that makes me very sad. I want to heal him in some way. Damn. Okay, cool. Whoa! So Abandon is pretty cool because it works with Defy Death. And it just exhausts cards, which is cool. But not all cards I want to exhaust. I don't mind exhausting the strikes. Not even the defenses. Wait, this is something that keeps... You keep drawing into this? Wait, this doesn't exhaust itself. So that's continually exhausting. That's interesting. But how good is that really? I suppose in a Rampage deck, that's insane. And we do have Rampage. We're trying it out. Rampage and Abandon. I don't try this at home. Look, well, worst case scenario, we have Doom. So we're going to make sure we get rid of this guy's artifacts, right? We're going to Berserk ourselves. Which I don't recommend at home. And we're going to probably apply poison if we need to. We want to get the Doom on him ASAP. Hmm. This is already feeling pretty bad. Get the bash. Nah. If I de Ugh. Feels like shit. It's better than nothing, right? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I want to get rid of his artifacts. We discussed this. But it's not worth it. Alright, we have Disarm, we have Poison Strike, and we have Thunderclap. So we can do we can do this for now. That Berserk is going to kill me, actually. hi yi yi So that's a start. Now, Abandoning is pretty good for Rampage, but we just got rid of a defense, which is... Eh. Questionable. I'd rather exhaust the um, clashes. That's also debuff. Okay, almost there. We, I think we got it. We got Doom. You gotta survive for ten turns. I repeat, we only gotta survive for ten turns. Can we do it? It's questionable. Especially when they took my. I'm 
I'm dead right now, I think. I think we just died. Well, no, there's a chance. Because I can do disarm. We're still alive yet. Whew. Eight turns. We gotta survive hybrid beam somehow. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Hemogenesis is gonna save me, right? Right, he said. Right? Defy Death, True Grit, Ghostly Armor. I don't know how we're gonna survive this. I don't think we can. That's all my defenses, pretty much, except for Defy Death, Ghostly Armor, and Yeah, that's gonna be pretty bad. bad because we don't have weaken goes to defy death goes to the armor oh we actually have hemogen oh, the only problem with hemogenesis is that we didn't get prox because it wasn't in our hand when brutality went off but we can kill this guy which is important because i think we can live let me just double check i do burning pact on how much is this going to be it's going to be 11 twice so 22 plus that oh it's not gonna be lethal so I should get rid of thunderclap. No, but I need it. Ay ay ay. This is rough. Twenty two plus five twenty seven. So I just need seven damage, which this is, is. Nope. I'm one damage off. Fuck. I'm one damage off this guy. Oh, we can do rampage. Rampage is good. Rampage is good. Well, then I can't play Ghost of the Armor. Mm, we're just fucked. Oh, this is Offering. Wait, that's Offering. That's important to get. So wait, 24 plus 11. Yeah, that's, that's important to get. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Mom, we're doing it, I think. So, since we're... I mean, I don't want to get rid of this, but I also want to play this and this. Eek. We're really defying death right now. But Hemogenesis is gone, right? Oh, we need Exhum. We need Exhum. Abandon. Abandon all hope. Let's get rid of everything that's... Massacre's terrible. Get it out of the deck. We should survive for six turns, guys. Survive for six turns and we're fine. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. Six turns is all we need. Let's get rid of this. We don't want any of these cards. We want to have only defenses. Five turns. Four turns. Can we do it? I should do Thunderclap first. Why am I not doing that first? I'm gonna get rid of this if I can abandon. Mm. Let's do Clash, it's better. Ooh, we have Pendiff coming up. Mm, this is scary. Okay, we gotta survive this, no problem. Defy Death is insane. Then we wanna abandon Burning Pact, right? We wanna Battle Trance. We wanna Defy Death, Shrug, Defend, and run through his. Pretty good. Let's fully block. Oh, we already have fully full block. What am I talking about? Alright, we gotta survive for two more turns. So I gotta survive the hyper beam and then we win, right? Which is fitting. It's pretty damn fitting, actually. 
I'm gonna abandon the clash. Because it's not gonna save us. And we're gonna get rid of Thunderclap. We just want only defensive cards. Because if we can get down to... If we can get down to defy death and just like keep drawing that into itself, we're fine. What does that mean that he's gonna die at the start of his turn? I'm not even sure, but... Please be defy death. Yes, now if we do battle trends, there's a chance that we just defy death again. Ooh, that's not bad though. We're fine. And now he's dead next turn. Oh my god! Dude, I like Abandon. Dude, we got Abandon. Number two, so we just keep abandoning everything and only look for Hemogenesis and Rampage. And some other things, like Defy Death. So we have Defy Death, Shrug It Off, Defy Death, Shrug It Off, right? Get rid of everything. Rampage, Hemogenesis. Let's not do it. Let's do Abandon all the time. Hell yes. Chewing Gum gains energy at the start of your turn. Every time you shuffle your deck, add three slime to your draw pile. Well, Slime is a target for Abandon, so I don't mind this, actually. So, you know, what's funny is that I can just gain energy per turn, right? And then if I use Abandon properly, upgraded it, I get rid of all these three Slimes, and then draw three cards anyways. So, there's nothing wrong with that. There's Calling Bell, which, with Abandon, I can get rid of the Curses and get three Relics. But I do need energy, right? So, we're gonna go for Chewing Gum. I like this combo. Chewing Gum, Abandon... Time meter, I'm not too happy to see. Cool. I know. Let's go this way. Every time you shuffle your deck, I gotta upgrade these abandons. I need some scaling besides Rampage for this. Potentially. Potentially. But we can always get Doom Pots. Remember that. I can just hold on for Doom Pots. Don't forget about the Doom Pots, alright? They exist for a reason. Because if I just get Doom Pot, then Time Eater just dies. Abandon all hope. Abandon all hope. Hemogenesis, come here, buddy. Come here, Hemogenesis. Give me the heal. Yes. I like it. I love it. Carrying a bottle. Very nice. Uh, Shockwave is not bad. Just just buy me time. I like it. Inflame gives me some more damage. I like Shockwave. Several Souls are a way to aggressively exhaust things and just get my deck down really small. But if I, did, if, I, if I do Bannon properly, guys, I will get Rampage at adequate. Like, Defy Death and Rampage is going to be adequate enough to kill the boss. It's starting. That's Life Blood, that guy. That's cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of Massacre. Massacre, Massacre is awful. Let's get rid of Berserk. We don't like Berserk. I probably wants to kill him, but I also want to kind of make this scale up. The more you attack me, the more you hurt your friend, just so you know. Abandon. I abandoned, dude. Imagine we have Funeral Pain. That's sexy. Would poison damage even... I think poison is a reflect. I mean, poison is a skill, so I don't think so. Because this is only attack damage. Yeah, so poison would not reflect. Clash? Oh, we, we want to kind of milk this for hemogenesis. That's for sure. Chewing gum. 
Abandoned. There it is. It's gorgeous. Uh, we're gonna skip here. I really like abandoned. I'm gonna go for this. Do I have minus 10% max HP? That's only 8 life, right? But I get 75 gold, which is pretty good for the shop coming up. Or we can get... See, the good thing about... The bad thing about a good face is that it's a little late, so we'll do this. Oh, we only, we only lose the HP. We don't actually lose max HP. Oh, that's fantastic. The ultimate defense. Ooh, what is this? You may upgrade two cards whenever you smith. That's really good. That's insane if you get this early. Wait, imagine you get that with Searing Blow. Guys, we have to do Searing Blow Arrowhead. Like, tell me this is not going to be the best YouTube video ever. Arrowhead Searing Blow deck. It has to happen. Matter of fact, I'm going to do custom mode and try to get this to happen. Anyways, let's... This is great. Artifacts, dexterity, shield, and plate armor. And I, I like everything about that. I like everything about it. And let's remove another strike. At this point, I want to remove the clash, actually. So now that artifact can help me play Berserk and feel okay about it. Are we skipping elites? I think we are. Uh oh. Lose ma massacre. Get out of here. Massacre is horrible. I'm so glad. My deck is getting actively getting better. That's a good thing. And I really like abandon here. And ultimate defense is a good upgrade as well. Okay. We got brutality, hemogenesis. Abandon. You know what? We're gonna do shrug it off. We're gonna abandon the clash to defense. Defy death is insane. We got this. We got that. We got life bind. We got ghostly. And we got clash. The deck is coming together beautifully. Shielding is like it's like temporary life. It's, it does it doesn't get a it stops HP loss as well. Shockwave, Poison Strike, 9 Poison for 0. Busted. Okay. Ultimate Defense, baby. The Ultimate Defense. We gotta upgrade that so that it uh, gives me intangible. I can kill this guy. Yeah, let's do it. Abandon. The ultimate defense. I mean, at this point, it's not even that great. I mean, it's fine, because we have shielding as well. So shielding is like temporary HP, but it blocks things like curses that might lose HP, etc., etc. Guys, just ask for shielding. I just explained shielding five times. I'm not. <laughs> oh my god, he's trolling me. Silly trolling me. Abandon all hope. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, wait, what the hell is shielding? I just saw this. Can somebody explain what shielding is? Hemogenesis, where are you at, dude? There you are. Dude, abandoning gets rid of slime for free. It gets rid of everything for free. I'm not sure why I said that. I just thought it was like impactful in any way. I'm taking way too much time in this. This needs to stop. We need to stop this. Okay. <clears throat> no, it's not like buffer, so it just blocks it's like temporary HP. 
so but it can also so it's like plated armor no it's not like plated, it's like temporary hp that can block hp loss like like from brutality for instance or from uh, regret armaments with battle trends to be honest though whoa wait abandoned and sentinel do we see this combo we didn't but now we do abandon and sentinel The ultimate events. I wish I could play it. I guess I do kind of want to play it. But I also want to do Shockwave. Hmm. This is awkward. So my deck, you know, requires a little bit of uh, time before it starts doing some good stuff. Hmm. Yeah, so these are not the best. Oh, I had Clash. Oh, that's a big waste of damage. I needed that damage. Otherwise, I think we I think we lose now. Well, Abandon is okay. Let's abandon all hope. Let's keep abandoning. Berserk is fine, I suppose. Yikes. I think we're losing, actually. Ooh-wee. I made a lot of mistakes here. Hmm. Wow, 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 Yikes, 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 yikes. The Weaken and the Rampage. Hmm. Shockwave Flash. Oh my god, dude, if I used Clash earlier, I would have lethal on this guy, and I would not be... Wait! Guys! Wait! We have Fear in the Bottle, right? But we also have Life Bind. So when I do this, right, he's gonna have 8 life left, but because these guys are killing me for... hitting me for whatever amount he's hitting me, he's gonna get Life Bind and, and take that much to the face. Now I'm curious if it's only gonna make him lose 7 HP, which if that's the case... I'm losing with 1 HP, and that feels terror bad. Or... Wait, what is this? 14 plus 12, 26. All right, this is even better, because this guarantees it. I'll die by pairing the bottle, but he's guaranteed going to die. Unless this guy attacks first, and if he attacks first, then I'm screwed. Okay. But things are still looking grim, all right? Still, things are looking very grim. Mm, no, 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 not like this, not like this. Not like this, not like this. I play this all bad. 28. Okay, we're resetting this one for science. No, no, it's my, this is my last game of the day, guys. We're, we're having to go out for this. We're resetting this for science. Close your eyes. It's a mod, it's a modded game, right? It, it, calm down with the cheating thing. It, it, we're playing a mod, all right? It's not even the real game. I feel like holding on to this. I really do. I had Tori? Jesus Christ. Let's get Sockup out of the way. Ultimate defense, you know, get out of here. You're, you're, you're useless. You're not useless. I really do enjoy you, but I'm gonna play you when I have Sentinel with Bannon. I think that's gonna be better. Sixteen. Fourteen. Are donors working? Uh, donors should be working, yes. Let me see, uh... Oh, wait. I, because I had a crash, I had to put something up. One second. Sorry, I, I'm sorry I've been missing the chat. I've just been focused on this crazy mod run. Yes, let me just reload. Maybe I missed some stuff. Oh! Oh, 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 I missed some things. Well, first and foremost, let's uh, take that off. 
Second off, let's get this up in front and center. Thank you, Killer Make Boy. Nice two hundred and twenty-two. Wait. Oh yeah, because you donated another two dollars. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. And also, Ewan with the five dollars. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Here is guys. some more money for the PC. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Sorry, my my alerts were not up. All right, we can do burning packs. Let's uh, let's actually keep Clash. No, well, I might not be able to use it here. Feels bad. This is clearly weak. Abandon all hope. I need to use abandon on Sentinel so I can play. Okay, the light finds. It saves our butt a little bit. Berserk. And now it has a downside because before I had the artifacts. So we're not doing as well as we were before. Chewing gum. I forgot that chewing gum is, you know, pretty bad, actually. That guy's dead. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. Alright. Mmm. How are we gonna do this, guys? How is this gonna work? Someone enlighten me. Abandon. Abandon. Give me ultimate thing, whatever it's called. A bane is cool, but I'm getting making more room for burns, which is not cool. This is cool. Oh shit, these slimes are insane. Yikes. Hmm. Get rid of that. Be nice to me, please. Ah, we got this, right? Like we're fine, right? Clash, right? We lost anyways. Are you kidding me? I'm one damage off. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Oh god, dude. I'm just not meant to be. Wait, Tori! Tori! You beautiful son of a gun! It was in that moment he knew he did his map wrong. Fuck. I saw 34, it was 30. This is the moment he knew. He doesn't know how to do math. Alright, guys, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to go, all right? Uh, we had some crashes today. We had some crashes today. If I didn't restart, I probably won. So it turns out Ultimate Defense was the better play because Berserk, all these other things. I uh, I played that poorly. But you know what? This mod, Replay the Spire, is really spicy. I'm very curious to keep playing this. We have the Silent with the Try, the Defects, other classes. We have a lot of stuff to do.